Hey, classic G body. And out here in the garage working on the old J body here. And I just want to do a quick update on it. Oh, hey. What's up, Moby? Look what this guy did. Look at that dead mouse. I don't feed him, so it goes out hunting. So I'm glad it's dead. So that's the last thing I need is a dead, is a is a mouse running running around in here. So I'm glad it's dead. Either way, nice work, Moby. Here, let me let you back out. Want to go back out? There you go. So anyway, he's been working on the Cavalier, uh, make, making a lot of progress, and. Uh, last time or last video I showed hopefully you saw them did a little bit of a how-to on the timing chain and the water pump So I got that all buttoned up. Let me show you real quick get the light All right, here we go cover was off last time and I got the timing chain cover on Everything's all good to go in there got the harmonic balancer back on the serpentine belt Got a new crank seal in there, timing cover seal, and uh, that's all ready to go. The water pump's in place, and the best thing about the progress is the tranny's back in. Hell yeah. Transmission back into place. Uh, this is a transmission that I got a couple years ago when the tranny started acting up on this car, and, and uh, I actually found a transmission out of a wrecked. 97 Sunfire GT. Uh, the guy that I bought the tranny from ended up using the engine out of it. The car was rear-ended real hard and uh, so I bought the transmission from him. 70,000 miles. I can only hope that it's good because I didn't see the car drive or anything like that but you gotta assume that it's good or at least hope that it's good because the car was obviously on the road when it was hit. So Tranny's in place, water pump's in place. I don't need to show you guys that. If you check out the other videos, you can see all what that looks like underneath there. But got that all back into place. Uh, got the, all the wires back into place, bell housing bolts tightened. I showed how that came apart. I gotta get the condom that goes on the, uh, one of the plugs there fell off. Must have fallen off during, during the whole operation here. So I gotta go to a junkyard and get that. So that's kind of a bummer. Other than that, everything's good to go, and got the old subframe sitting here. Actually, the, uh, got a new subframe sitting here. The old subframe was rotted out, was rotted out right around the uh, stabilizer bar there, and and the uh, where the rack bolts in there. So it's nice and painted. I painted the control arms, and I also brushed brushed it all full of oil because I don't want it rusting again. So. All set with that, and uh, I'm trying to figure out what the next project is going to be after this car is done. So stay tuned, guys. I'm going to do a little video on uh, what project will be next, and uh, and hopefully, guys will help me choose that. So making some progress, and and stay tuned. Leave comments. All right, guys. Thanks.